Now, close to 100,000 voters received mail-in and absentee ballots in this primary election. So far, the city reports an estimated 55,000 have been returned. Now, a couple thousand of those ballots were red flagged with issues that could put those votes in jeopardy. Let's go to City Hall now with that part of our coverage this evening from Aziza Shuler. Aziza, good evening. Good evening, Yuki. You see this thick stack of papers in my hand. These are the names of people whose mail-in and absentee ballots are at risk of going uncounted. Just about 2,500 names are on these lists from the Philadelphia City Commissioner's Office, and that number has barely changed from what we were reporting yesterday. Now, here at City Hall today, people are trickling in, dropping off their ballots. When you walk through those doors, you see staff members there. They're checking each ballot to make sure it's signed, it's in the secrecy envelope, and it's dated. Those are minor mistakes voters are making that can cause their ballot to have issues. Before your mail-in vote is counted, election officials must first make sure your ballot is submitted correctly. If I made a mistake on it and I consider myself able to read directions. Looking at the latest numbers from the Philadelphia Board of Elections, 142 people submitted naked ballots, meaning it was not sent in the secrecy envelope. 71 are missing signatures, but the most common mistake issues with the date. Close to 1,500 people left their ballot undated or put the wrong date. Another 800 still need to verify identification by providing a driver's license number, photocopy of their ID, or the last four digits of their social security number. City commissioners say without those elements, your vote will not count. But every year, this is a problem. People don't return their ballots and they don't vote. And city officials are notifying voters by text and email. You can also find out if your name is on one of these lists by visiting our website, cbsphiladelphia.com. Remember, you must turn in your ballot to your local county elections office before the polls close tonight at 8 p.m. Jessica, I know you hear the trumpet going out here. We're just enjoying it. <laughs> I was going to say, a nice little concert going on behind you, Aziza. Thank you for that.